when it comes to like architectures, there are concepts like monolithic, service-oriented applications, and microservice architecture. So what, what are the differences? Maybe you can go into each. each. Sure, sure. Uh, monolith is, uh, is, is one big code base. Everything is connected through functions that, that are part of the same code base. So whether you're calling a database, it's part of the same code base. If you then go to an API layer, part of the same code base, generally maintained as part of one repository of code as well which gets packaged as, I mean, monoliths, you could package them in uh, different packages as well, but generally they even get packaged as one big container or one big VM that gets deployed somewhere. Uh, that you can see just by, by the nature of a large code base becomes more fragile over time. Just by the nature of a large code base becomes harder to test. And by the nature of that, it just slows teams down because it's just too much code and you get, you get queued behind things that have nothing to do with your component, but you still need to go to the same code base. Service-oriented architecture was a concept. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know what the difference between service-oriented architecture and microservices is. I think microservices is just a, a standard de facto implementation of a service-oriented architecture. Mm -hmm. A service-oriented architecture uh, expresses your application in certain abstractions, and it says break it down into the smallest possible components that you can, with each component having a very unique value proposition that it's providing. And microservices are a way to implement that architecture.